Hey everyone, welcome to another video on DBT. In this video, we'll be talking about DBT incremental models. We'll see how to do updates, merge, and append. So these are very common operation that you usually do whenever you are doing any data transformation. But we'll see like how DBT simplified the whole process. So this is going to be a very interesting video. So watch till the end. So materializations are strategies for persisting DBT models in a warehouse. As we all know that DBT is uh, DBT doesn't do in doesn't store any data. It just does the transformation and it stores the data back to your data warehouse. For our tutorial, we have seen that DBT doing a lot of transformation and it's just pushing data back to Snowflake. To how to store the data that is called as materialization. So there are like five types of materialization built into DBT. Those are table, view, incremental, inferral, and materialized view. For today's video, we'll be just talking about table, view, and incremental. Other two types we'll be talking about in a different video in future. Table materialization. So what happens is whenever you're using this table materialization, your model is revealed as a table on each run by a create table as statement. So basically you're just whatever models you're writing in a SQL that is going to be created as a table. So to do that, you just need to have a config statement and materialize as table. So this will create the table for you. As you, we have already seen this in a previous video, like how to do that. And there are different strategies, how you can create the materialization. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, go and watch those videos. View materialization. So this is uh, so previously you can create your models as tables now you can create this as a view so to do that you just have to create as config materialize as view incremental materialization so we'll spend more time today because we have already seen table and view materialization so in this video we'll be focusing on incremental materialization so what it does it it allows you to insert or update records into a table since the last time the model was run so just think about this scenario, right? So you have a tables that what happens is every day you are getting new data, right? So whenever you are reloading the your maybe your intermediate stage, you don't want to read the whole data. So you might want to just load the last day data. That's why this incremental materialization comes into picture. So what you want to do, you just have to define the materialization and incremental and we'll see like how to define your models with incremental materialization. Now let's understand the incremental models with some examples. So first, what we're going to do is we are going to create a table. So basically on the, we are creating that in our raw stage with employee details and these are the columns that it has. So I'll be providing all this as a create statement and everything we are seeing in the screen in the description box. So let's run it. So we created the table. Now let's see like, let's insert some data. So basically I have created some uh, dummy data. Let's insert this. Rows are inserted. So data is like you have ID, name, position, department, salary, and receipt date. Receipt date, you can think about when the data is being received in the data source. Uh, all the IDs are unique here, and you have some receipt dates that is coming. So this is the data. Let's insert this data because currently this is in raw and I want to do some transformation and I want to load that into staging area. So to do that, uh, we have the same process we have already seen. What you do is we do a select a source. So we define what my source should look like. So I have that in raw and I want to read employee details. And then similarly, you have a models that we are creating. So let's run this dbt run. Okay, so the run is finished and we see that we know this process, it creates a table. The table is created because how, why it is creating a table? Because if you remember, we talked about project file and we are defining the stage that every materialization is table. The same thing you can define as a config that we already see in the PPT. So this is how it is creating created. So we can verify that. So your table would be created in staging. So this is your table. Uh, let's see the data. So currently I'm not doing any transformation, but it so it will be the same data as 
this one so now let's think that uh, okay now today some more data came into this raw table so let's insert a few new two rows right so if you see that we already have like uh, 210 id so i'm just inserting 211 and 212 to just make it a unique and i've just increased the receipt date so if you see the last record has been received at two o'clock so this is on the second day and this is on different day so these are like greater than what we have already right so let's insert this so my two records are inserted now now i want to get this data so currently this data won't be there in staging right because we did not run our dbt uh, dbt run now i want to get this data into the staging area so one option is you just run it again okay so it has been run and if i just select the data again you'll see you got the data right these are the two new records that you've inserted but if you understand that what dvd did was it collected the whole data from raw and it just did a overwrite on your staging this is not a very efficient operation this you cannot do a do in all the cases right suppose you have a lots of data you have million and million rows or uh, in a table you cannot do a total override so let's see this is where incremental models come into picture so you only pick up those record which are necessary for us our concern is to just pick up this this particular data that's uh, that's why we can have incremental models let's see how to do that so to do that let's go back to our sql file and let's define incremental strategies so i'll go at top of your file and just define that my my table should be materialized as increment so this will not do your job one more extra step we have to do you have to paste this towards the end let me do it here so let's understand what it is doing so i'm selecting the data from my raw stage but i'm selecting because uh, your materialization is um, incremental so you're doing a check so basically you are adding a wire clause in your table so this is jinja templating we'll see this in details in our next video but let's understand that you can have if else statement what i'm doing is i'm just giving a if statement that whenever the materialization is incremental you only select the rows which are received from the maximum uh, received date so what it does is i'm uh, first it will calculate the maximum received date from this model so let's see the in the existing model so if i go back to our data so if you remember that this was the maximum table that was created right so this is this is the maximum date it will create it will calculate and all the record that came after this it will get those data back so to do this first we have to truncate our table we'll just insert it because we have already made some changes i'll run the project again okay though so this got the data then let's repeat the step what i'll do is like i'll insert some data now so this two records i insert this now let me run this job again so basically what uh, we are trying to do is we're trying to do that in an incremental way so let me run this again so now it will say that okay whatever data is already there just use this where clause because it's an incremental model so you see that it in the run is successful and it created an incremental model so if i just go back and if i see the data again so this is my staging you have all the all the two rows right to understand internally what it does it you can go to your target you can see the compile version so if you see that okay i am selecting only the things that is required and if you see the in the run this is the last run it provides so it's just inserting the records which i which i got from the previous query right so now let's see how to do updates with dbt so for that what i did was i have two more queries but if you see that what i'm doing is i have two queries like 201 202 and these are the existing data so and i want what i did was i changed the position from marketing specialist to senior marketing specialist this let's insert this in row 
raw data if i if i run the same job again so what will happen is this rows will be copied again and this will be appended but i don't want to do any appends what i want to do is i want to do updates on basis of this id so whenever this id is matching i want to update the rows because the position has changed so i want to update the same row to do that you go back to your sql file this is very simple all you have to do is like you have to provide a unique id so give a comma give a unique id so this is a unique id that you're providing and what you are saying is okay uh, this is a materialization that is incremental but there is a unique id so dbt understand that whenever this gets a unique id they understand okay this is a update query that i have to do okay let me run that so uh, run is successful now let's go back to snowflake let's see the st uh, staging data so this is my staging data i'll just select this and you will you will see that all the 201 202 the position has been changed so this did not insert this data again so you don't see any other 201 202 it just found okay my id is matching that means i have to update all these columns like whatever columns there if there are any changes in department also it will do the change you see just adding one unique id dbt understand that it's an update query to know like behind the scene what it does you go to run you see that what it does it internally it does a merge operation so basically what it is doing it is doing a merge between your source and destination on the id that you're presenting uh, whenever you're getting any match it will update all your records if there is no match it will just insert the data so currently if you see that uh, if you have any match match it will do the updates for all the columns even this is you can configure so what you want is you do not suppose you do not want to update all the columns so that even that is configured all you have to do is you go back to your source and you just add this merge update columns so if i just run this what it does it it's just saying okay if you find any uh, duplicate records merge only the position and department let's go to run now uh, okay this is my run and if you see that if you have any match queries only update my position and the department column so if you see that how simplify it is to define any merge uh, merge logic all you have to do is you just have to worry about how to write your transformation and everything else is taken care by dvd so dbt simplifies a lot of process in your transformation journey what i'll do is like i'll provide you all the sql statement and so you can practice from your end and if you really like this video just give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet give it a subscribe and just let me know in the comment section what you liked about this video and what you want me to cover in the next videos or if there is any feedback that you want to give just give a comment. I'll see you in the next video.